Hi Beauty Bulletin Babes, I'm Chloe and today I'll be doing a review on some of the products that I received for March. Um, I was lucky enough to receive three wonderful products from Beauty Bulletin. The first one is the Iborian uh, Korean Skin Therapy BB Cream. Next one is the new Maybelline Fit Me Blush. And the last product is the Colossal uh, Cat Eyes Volumizing Mascara. So if you're interested to hear my reviews, then stay tuned. So the first product that I'm going to review is the Iborian Korean Skin Therapy BB Cream. Um, I was so excited to receive this product because it was so cute. So the brief BT Bullets and Babes, it comes in this box and on the top it says um, Korean. I don't know if you can see on the camera. And the rose here, we just couldn't resist. They were so cute. Like I laughed myself so hard at the first office when I opened this. Um, Okay, so, um, well, why is it so funny? It's because um, BB cream started in um, Asia, I think. It's quite big. It still is very big. And um, I didn't even know that you can buy BB cream in South Africa. Uh, for some of you that have heard about BB cream, I'm sure you're very excited to see this Iborian brand um, launching a BB cream in South Africa. So basically, what a BB cream is, it's um, a tinted moisturizer, foundation, concealer, but also like a skincare product. Um, that's why so many Asian women love BB cream because, you know, you want to look nice, but you don't want your makeup to um, make your, the condition of your skin worse. And what's awesome about BB cream is that while it is a type of makeup, it also enhances and protects your skin and also makes it better. So this BB cream, it contains ginseng. Um, it's a type of Asian herb um, that lots of Asian women use for, I don't know, keeping you youthful and reducing wrinkles, make sure that you don't get uh, premature wrinkles. Um, I've used BB cream for, I think, two years now. Um, I use it as a day moisturizer. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I use it as a day foundation. And um, what I love about it is that it looks very natural, um, like it, it covers, it evens out your skin tone, but it looks natural um, as well. And um, when I tried this, it was it was really, really nice. Um, I had it on for an entire day, and um, what I love about it is that it feels super light on your skin. Um, I don't even feel like there's, moist, there's, there's foundation on. And um, another thing is that it really evens out your skin tone. Um, I, have, I tend to have redness on my cheeks here. And when I apply this, um, it, re it significantly reduced the visibility of my pores and also evened out the redness on my cheeks. Um, and also because I don't have very dark um, eye, what do you call these, <laughs> rings under your eyes, it also manages to cover that up. Um, so this is how it looks like, it's in a tube and you just screw the tube off and you squeeze some onto your hand. Um, the consistency of this BB cream, like most BB creams, is quite thick compared to your normal liquid foundations. And, but you can see that it blends quite easily into the skin. Um, you can probably notice that this BB cream is quite light, but um, when you blend it into the skin, it's flawless. Um, so I really, really love this BB cream. It's really awesome. Um, it doesn't make your skin look oily at all. It stays quite well on your skin and it manages to even your skin tone out. Um, the only thing uh, about this BB cream is that there's no color. Like I don't see, you know like foundations you get like light, medium, beige or whatever to suit your different um, skin color. But for this, I don't see anything that tells you um, what color this is or whether you can get it in any other color um, but if this is the only color then um, you'll have to be quite fair skinned to use this product um, I actually haven't seen this product being sold in stores so I can't really comment on how much it costs or where you can buy it but if you do see it um, I highly recommend you try this um, after you've tried BB cream like it will completely replace your tinted moisturizer and liquid foundation that you use in the day you'll love this, um, especially as a daytime foundation. I wouldn't use it at night, only because it contains quite a high level of SPF. And as you may know, um, if you wear this in the evening and you take photos at night, it might make your face look very white. So 
definitely recommend this as a daytime tinted moisturizer slash foundation slash um, investment in your The second product that I'm going to review is the new Maybelline Fit Me Blush. Um, I think these come in five different shades if I'm not incorrect. This one is in deep pink and it's basically a matte pink shade. I love the shade. It's like a matte. I don't know, it's not bright pink but I don't know, it's such a beautiful shade of pink. Um, you can see on my finger. I'm actually wearing it today and um, it looks amazing with um, bronzer. Um, it really applies very smoothly, it blends really easily into the skin. Um, you can see it comes with a blush in the package but then I don't normally use this because I have my own blush brush. Um, the staying powder is quite good, I applied this earlier this morning and you can still see like this blush. And what I like about it is that the pink is visible but um, it also suits most eye, eye shades if you like applying eyeshadows like I do. It should fit with most of different color eyeshadows. The only thing about this is the packaging it gets a little bit difficult to open sometimes um, but you'll manage to get it open but the quality of the blush itself is really great and I think they sell this for 80 bucks at this camera. Okay, the last product that I'm going to review is the new Cat Eyes Colossal Mascara. I <laughs> completely love the packaging of this mascara. It's like, I don't know if you can see like this orange little leopard prints. Um, this is actually my first time using um, the Colossal range from Maybelline. Um, I've always wanted to use it, but I don't know why. I still haven't got around to buying it. Um, what I really like about this mascara is that it's got a very light formula. Um, what I mean is that it's not too liquidy, to a point that after you apply it and you open your eye that the mascara gets onto your eyelid. And I also love the shape of the mascara wand. Um, I've never used a wand like this before, but it really makes application quite easy, um, depending on which angle you want to use it. But I love applying this mascara on my bottom lashes, because it's just so much easier to reach, especially for someone like me, um, whose lashes aren't too long. Um, I think that this is a great mascara for daytime, also for nighttime, but you'll probably have to build it up quite a lot. Um, I think build it up to three times if you want to have really thick lashes. And also what I like about it is that it does not clump at all. Like no matter how many layers you put on, it doesn't clump and I really like that. Um, I know this mascara, it advertises that it fans out your lashes and I guess because it doesn't clump your lashes that it does separate your lashes really nicely. Um, I think this will be like a great mascara for someone who's already got quite like long and lashes that curl naturally. But for someone like me who's Asian and my lashes are really very straight, um, you'll definitely need an eyelash curler and a heat, heated eyelash um, curler as well <laughs> to, to help the, your lashes curl up because um, it does lengthen and separate your lashes very nicely but it doesn't really help with creating that cur curl that you would want. Um, but overall it's really great. Um, I love it because it's so light and the brush is really easy to use even if you don't have very long lashes. Um, I just think it would work better on someone who has naturally curly lashes. So thank you very much Beauty Bulletin for sending me these three great products to review. I thoroughly enjoyed them and out of the three I think definitely try the BB cream because um, I don't know I just think that you should never spend like try to save money on something that you apply on your skin because it's just going to cost way more in the future if you have to fix that and um, it really like after you use BB cream you will really never go to any other tinted moisturizer because you will see a difference in your skin after you use this over time and even if you work for like 8 and 12 day day <laughs> I think it's good to use um, a foundation that actually cares for your skin as well and doesn't block your pores and cause breakouts and stuff so I think definitely try the Eborean BB cream because it's really great just make sure that um, you can find one that fits your skin tone because this is quite light and I can't really see whether there is different colors for this 
And I know that for most BB creams, like the only problem with them is that they only release them in very few shades, so it might not be suitable for everyone. But I hope you enjoyed my reviews and I hope you have a great time. Um, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.